I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizano. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appeared to have, been, to have suffered a uh, fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth, so that we can all survive. For Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. The Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth board section in your handbook. Alright. Are you going to help investigate, Shihiro? Um, but I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I, I have to stay with her. Uh, no, my hamsters, I don't want to die here! Oh, I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! Your doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. I gently placed my hand. Okay. She really is dead. Damn it, why is this happening? Do you think there might be coins in anything? No. Okay. This is why I asked. First of all, I should probably head to the scene of the crime in my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room where Sayaka's corpse still remained. I'd better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. There is no pad still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. Well, you're wrong! WRONG! I don't look at the one where it looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Sayaka really see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? There's a key on the ground, that's my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly... Yes, that's right, we'll have to trade keys. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. Sayaka would have had, had the key here in my room the entire time. Wait, if that's true, then... How did the killer get in my room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? Well, that seems impossible. After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something? No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms, and with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she kind of dropped it. So how did the killer... Switching rooms to that into the truth board section. I wonder how... It was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked around in the blade itself. I shouldn't be surprised if it's cold and gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off on parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of the coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. And plus, the sword's been taken out. It's just the sheath, but huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. This must have been made with something sharp. But how the sheath gets stra scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to get damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with the sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It would just slide right off in the middle of battle and fight. So why are you there scratches on the sheath? <clears throat> There's scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of struggle? It looks like there must be some kind of fight in my No, room. it's evidence of some wild sex. I mean, if you have longer fingernails, I guess? Damn it, I was right here in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Oh, that would not have been possible. Huh? Huh? Don't you remember? All our rooms are completely soundproof. 
So something could happen in the room right next to you and there's no way you could know. Perhaps if this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of a struggle has been added to the truth board section in your handbook. Your gouge is in the bed like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? A surveillance camera. The mastermind must be using this to keep an eye on everything that's happening here. They don't do anything to stop what's happening, they just keep on watching. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now it's just showing the school for us. Okay. I wasn't trying to talk to you, but yeah, sure. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. I should check the room first of all. I'm trying to check the... That? There. If the display stand the sword was on. Uh, anything on? can look at the... There's scratches and gouges in my walls and bed. Okay. Probably the bathroom next. Mm. I already read the scape wet. I'm just not sure why it says it again. By the way. You know, I realized something that wasn't guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash can't room over here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! That dirty bastard. Shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brothers taught me. So if I ever see the son of a bitch who did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But what if the girl what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. This that'll all get sorted out when the time mm. comes. <laughs> Monty is a stand-up guy. <laughs> Though he has failed, he has failed Kazuma. Gender equality is not in his lexicon, I guess. Itinerary. Hey Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no, not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, careful inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight Listen. and said, Are you a cream freak? Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. See. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another. And I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Not one hair from the victim, not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mentioned it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to- see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair on it, and someone used a lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in here and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Saka or the killer? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Makoto's room cleanliness is banned into the truth bullet section in your handbook. If only they were a good painter and repairman, then they yeah. could have gotten rid of all the evidence. I should look around here first. I could check the other spots like... What? Okay... The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. We ain't exactly in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then? 
Not just me. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, because, like, why the hell would we? Is that the last item? I believe so. The bathroom, and on the other side of the door... Okay. <laughs> no, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her... her. Saka, all at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't, I can't hesitate now. Why, why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I want to give up, I wanted to collapse, but that thought held me up and supported me. Can I interact with the shower? The water from the showers get turned off at night time. This is... Wait, we don't even have a sink? Mm -hmm. Wow, well, this is... I think it's... No, I think it's the top of the toilet, okay? Because I know in Japan they do that a lot, where, like, the sink will be the top of the toilet. Okay. It's just bent backwards because this is Danganronpa. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... Now it's not the time to think like that. I pulled up the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object had been thrust in her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely not something that's definitely something I should look into later. Also according to the Monokuma file, Saka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does seem swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is, huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? The stab wound in her stomach is what really killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? It's possible to break a wrist, it just wouldn't get swollen like that. So it's very possible she broke a wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saka in the main room, which is when she got her wrist broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted a deadly wound. 1037. And there I saw... Oh, 11,037. What? It's written in blood, the number is 11,037. Did Sayaka do this? Uh, there's nothing else in the bathroom, correct? Yeah, no. It would seem... Looks like you found it right, Makoto. I've never seen... I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life right. itself. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11,037, I have no idea what they could possibly so, mean. The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write that, write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well, think about it. You're not going to tell me? Makoto, you need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I had no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Dying message has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Fucking flip it upside down. I swear to god, I hate this game. Anyway. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? There's w one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? 
Oh, you mean how it gets what? stuck? It gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't seem to fit the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked, but once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bullet section of your Correct. handbook. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Just Well, just try, try closing the bathroom door. Oosh. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said to shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob? What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? Uh, I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom door doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it? Hmm? Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. See. Then that clears it up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Well, see you later. Oh, as if forgetting I was even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob is banned into the truth bullet section in your handbook. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from, and if I'm also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other good areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should check what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me, that is. Hmm. Hmm. I think you can look at that now, maybe. Hmm. Huh? This yeah. is definitely my room, but the name point has Sayaka's name on it. Um, room. Just a sec. Damn, I was hoping I could ding dong ding dong it. Oh, hi. Hey, your room's right next to her. Yeah, I thought it might have been that one. Wait, it's across? No, let's be back again. I thought it was. Of your. What? You're cutting out. Oh, I was standing right next to it, I didn't even see it. Yeah. Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched, so all the effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Okay. There can only be one thing in the trash can. You have the DV with Sayaka's name on it. Sayaka really got upset after seeing whatever was on that video. I wonder what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka, I need to borrow this DVD. I would look at the pieces of the paper balled up in there too, but what else? That's all I think. Aha! I knew it! I mean, well, if you get to the case, you'll get a lot more. Yep. The trial, I mean. I'm just seeing if I can get a couple extras, because we know how weird my luck is. Okay. 
Alright, uh, let's start off with the first thing I was thinking of. Um, will be... Like Mr. Mondo said, there's a trash room over here. There's a sturdy gate here and a way to get past. It's the end of the line! The trash room, this is where all the trash in the school entry winds up! How do you... How do you get no, this gate no, open? You can't go any further. No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Cleaning no, duty? No, you can't go any further. no entry beyond this point! Oh, okay. Who's on no, cleaning no, duty? You can't go any okay. This is stupid. Be fast to just go around and ask no, the others. No, you can't go any <laughs> okay. That was really stupid. <laughs> yep. There's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge, it must be locked. Okay. Let's get out of here and talk to who I think is on cleaning duty. These investigations. Hey, fatty, fatty boom -baladdy. Um, um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me, why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take- Oh. It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone in Queen Beauty, this school would be flooded with trash in no time. So I formally applied for the position. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on Queen Beauty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room? Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm-hmm. But we're not supposed- we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room and only the person in cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash open open all the time so we can throw away things that are out whenever we want? That does seem Something more convenient. Words. Actually. Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate unless they're discovered, yeah. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would get boring. Boring? Hey, listen. Hey, you bastard. Oh, um... I just decided to volunteer for something and no one else would want to do. What's the big you, deal? Is it? Like... There's no way to... What are you talking about? Oh my... Oh, my love is for 2D. I would never get tired of 2D. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is showing what is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figurines. Give me a break. Hm. If you're that worried about Fumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. One of her guys cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to disposing of it. What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? That's not how it's supposed to- Anyway, on another topic, Kafumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. What? So now, you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you have to- haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from past trauma or save a village or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and walk around. <laughs> so easy. Kafumi and I headed down to the trash room. You'd like me up in the gate, wouldn't you? You know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He went out to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So, him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me. The filmy pulled a key out of his pocket and got used and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. Naegi! Without a doubt. Sure you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend, you planned this all along! No. I just want to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if there's anything left behind! Wait, maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it was used by some kind of glass... It used to be some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Hmm? Is that? Do you know what this mm -hmm. is? 
They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Mm. Er, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on my, any big city street corner. Gaze into it and it'll show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that, mean... Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball, ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. He should still be at the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Fucking hunk of curry. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Or like a ch hunk of burning love? Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth in the shape. It's part of the sleeve of a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, there's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... This is all that's left of sudden evidence that the killer destroyed. And there's lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't something by itself to figure out who the killer is. So are you been definitely talking a while, Cass? No, man, I'm good. This is the incinerator. It's the way back... It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah, uh, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. You see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you have to be cleaning duty, so make sure you are in this way before you leave. Okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on! You're strange. I'm quite certain it was off the last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy? Fumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? The fairy? No, you just said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Ha, yes. What about the, that? There can be no mistake. If, if I've got one thing going for me, it's my I memory. Feel I feel as if... As... Sorry, I was trying to do the voice, it doesn't work. Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on them. I haven't been back to the trash room since then, and since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Dun, dun, dun. It, it honestly isn't possible. This entire setup is asinine. I mean, no, Something is quite strange indeed. Concerned. Yeah, no, but I'm looking at the actual situation, and it is like a 80% failure even with the setup they're giving. <laughs> like, anything can go wrong, especially at that time of night. The whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. Wait, does this mean, mean, Maggie? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already knows you did it! All the mysteries are being solved one by one! Sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. The green button turns it on, the yellow button turns it off. Or, so it seems, anyway. I think you can look at the garbage can. Scroll over a little bit. I mean, I can look at- I can look at him, yes. Oh, that was right. That's a huge trash can. Is that what we're supposed to put trash in when we can't burn? Well, whatever it's for, it doesn't look like hiding any clues. But I got a coin, so thank you, Cassie. No problem. Oh. Uh, that's I wasn't trying to search, I was Alright, let's to go be... look for that murder weapon. Are you I a murder weapon? Where it's from. Um, my body's strange. a murder weapon. <laughs> Hashtag thick thighs. So, why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you were the culprit? No, you've got all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? I mean, yes, she would have. The reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms. She's dead because of me. Then it should have been me that died? Well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. If that's... If that's really true, then I... No. That... That's not how that works. The nameplates are switched, you fucking idiot. Sorry, he's... If he was a better detective, I could deal with this assholery. But he's a really shitty detective, at least during this first 
round. No, he's a fine detective. He knows the truth. He's just fucking with you. Because he's an asshole. He's smart, but he's an asshole. You know, are you investigating the dining hall? Or the donuts that were in the dining hall? Where the fuck are my donuts? We never ate breakfast. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. It's all a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. And I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps keep me calm. Yeah, you would say that. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just kind of been hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. No. No, you weren't. Yes, she was. You, you can't be in the kitchen at that time of night. I mean, yeah, you can. The door's locked, and if you're inside, you're fucked. No. I don't think so. Some parts I, aren't accessible, but I think that's mainly the school. No, I was fairly certain that later, like in the second game, it's used that you cannot... Not the second game, but the second... It doesn't matter, we'll get to that later. I may be wrong, but I'm fairly certain you can't. Well, check the rules. I don't think it gives a detailed list. Uh, regulations. Yeah, it just says some areas are off limits, and I don't think the kitchen is one of them. I, I thought we can go out at night. It doesn't matter. I, We're I, not I, supposed I, to go out at night because we. No, but I thought yeah, if you go out at night that the door to the kitchen is locked. No, I don't think so. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big, small, but looks like one of them's missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or I better see if anyone here knows more about it. Whoa, a knife. I wonder where I've seen a knife before. Mm. Nike's not always the brightest. Mm -mm. Uh, wait, no. What? What are you doing? Go back in there. Oh right, You're her. You're supposed to ask Kina about yeah. the knife. Yeah, I, I realized it the moment I left. I actually kind of forgot she was in here. <laughs> because I was too focused on the knife. Hey, so did you notice that one of the big kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing That's from the beginning? Right. Nope, last night I remember, last time I remember they were all lined up in a nice neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. Owie's account. Ask her who the fuck did take it. Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course I did. Of course not. I would never. Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Well, she was killed in your dorm, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends and then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. This isn't a... I was gonna say this isn't a game, but it is a game, so shut up. <laughs> also, I like how it would not be hard to actually swayed some of these people if we were to actually talk about what happened, but we're saving everything for the trial itself. You know, when everyone would just be screaming and blaming us. Mm. I feel like we've already done everything here during this chapter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Next up would okay. be to talk to the person who uh, the ball might have belonged to. Well, I mean, there's two things we can do. Oh yeah, that in the video. Okay, actually, I just realized there's a third thing we could do. 
use our coins? Yes. <laughs> well, we might want to wait on that until we get more Oh, coins. I'm an addict. I'm addicted to this drug. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD is like I threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with her friends. She said she had been so, that had been so important to her. She was possibly glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... That voice had come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then. Suddenly the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. What the? Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? This wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group, everyone knows who they are. So you trying to say he was able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone on the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? I wonder... Listen to me! Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual! The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it to show whose name it is, you right? Well, it just so happens! Wait, no, 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 you might be the killer yourself, I can't tell you anything! Forget everything I just said, forget, forget, FORGET BEAM! I'm sorry, just a little joke, even I do jokes sometimes, <laughs> Now I'm just remembering the forget, the forget, the forget beam from the bridge series thing. Yeah. Good. Yep. Quality content. I wonder if there's any more of that yet. I haven't seen any of his stuff in forever. So I have two things to do in this room. Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? Yeah, no, 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 we've gotta get out of here, we've gotta get out now. I've had enough, gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Um, we're breaking free! Makoto, what are you doing here, what? Hey, um, does this look familiar? That's my crystal ball! But it's all smashed, what the hell? I would bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? Was it actually made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? Uh, Some more the powers of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. Yes, those three people would have that crystal ball. The so whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was this seriously all BS? Yes. Um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you? Um, yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Thanks, Zero. That's all I wanted to know. Um. Uh, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much do you pay for that thing? Uh. Everything is saved up from fortune telling for two full years. Came out to be like a million. A million? Um. Pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just too, too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. What? That's it. Th You're done. There was another thing to do. Um, You're done. So, uh, nope. I'm getting tired that was it. of waiting. What say we just get started? Hmm? 
It's time for the long awaited What else was there to do, trial? Gabe? I mean, it wasn't necessary, but it was still something that Makoto said at the beginning that we need to talk to the ultimate numbers, the ultimate hacker. Oh, well, that's why it wasn't necessary because all all she tells you is, I got no fucking clue. And then you just yeah, I know. Allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. The first floor, you say? Red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. 